Today I have Arjen Lukasse and I want to ask him a couple of questions about music labels and what the value is of a music label, what the value can be of a music label, what benefits there are, what maybe are not really benefits, and mm -hmm. just in general, some things that you might want to know about. I, I have to be careful, of course, because the record yes. companies might be watching this. So. Oh, that's actually true. <laughs> I, that's actually I have true. to mark my words. <laughs> yeah, so we're not going into like the, the, no, the no problem, no details. Problem. I'll, I'll be as honest as I can. <laughs> okay, so Arjen, welcome. Um, and well, first question, a record label is it what's the actual value of being on a record label as a musician well it's great promotion you know they have this whole promotion machine which does all the work for you i mean you can do it yourself uh and maybe earn more money you know because a big percentage goes to the record company logically you know they have this big building they have the whole staff they have a lot of people working there and that all has to be paid, but it has its benefits, you know. It, they, if I would have to do everything on my own, I couldn't do, do the promotion that I have now, you know. And uh, of course, the, the licensing in every country and uh, getting your albums into Amazon and into the record shops and getting your albums online and all that stuff, you know. Uh, I want to concentrate on, on music. Mm -hmm. So basically, yeah, if, if you want to earn money, I would say um, do it yourself because <laughs> you know, yeah. there will be more money left, especially nowadays. Mm -hmm. But if you want to make it big and you see like uh, you see what you are doing more long term, mm -hmm. then try to join a record company. You know? and, and I've always worked long term mm -hmm. you know, ever since I started. It wasn't like I want to be famous tomorrow. I've always mm -hmm. wanted to make great music. I've always wanted to um, reach as many people as possible. Basically, that's what I want. It's not about earning as much money as I can. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about reaching as many people as possible. So I'd rather give uh, whatever 80 or 90% to the record company of what I earn mm -hmm. and reach more people than get 80% myself um, and reach less people. You know, I mean, it could be that from, from less people, you will earn a lot more money if you do it yourself. But uh, I, I see, I've always seen things long term. I mean, if I do a show in 013, I put hundreds and thousands of, of, uh, of euros in it, you know, lots and lots of money because I see it big, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't see it like, oh, let's get a lot of people in there and they all pay this and let's make a lot of money. No. It's like, let's put on this huge show, you know, and maybe we'll make a loss. Maybe we'll mm -hmm. never get the money back, but they will be back next year and they will tell their friends. And next year there will be uh, 10,000 more coming. You know, that's, that's mm -hmm. always how I saw it. And that's basically how it is with record companies. A uh, record company has way more power, you know, to, to uh, make you more known all over the world. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not easy to to get uh, get a contract with a record company, of course, you know, because especially nowadays there are so many bands and there's mm -hmm. so much choice for them. And um, so yeah, it's not easy. A lot of people, even my friends, musician friends, they contacted me. You know, uh, last even last week, I won't tell you who it is, but one of the singers I work with a lot, he was like, "Can you help me get a mm -hmm. record com a record contract?" So even for them, it's it's really hard. Yeah, you know, even if I go to the record company, I said, "Hey, this musician friend of mine, he's great, and mm -hmm. uh, would you want to sign him?" And and they're like. They listen to music differently, you know. They, mm -hmm. It's not like, do I like the music? It's how how can we market this? Mm -hmm. um, is this a well-known musician? Uh, what kind of people does he want to attract? Mm -hmm. And if if it's a solo singer and he makes different music than his 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 band, you know, then um, it's much harder to to reach a different audience. You know, mm -hmm. that's that's even if Mick Jagger makes a solo album, you know, it will sell one just one percent of what the Rolling Stones would, yeah. would tell. <laughs> so. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's actually very valuable advice to uh, to know that it's especially now not not easy to uh, no. to, to get no. with a record label. No. 
And so how likely is it, or is there any way that musicians can prepare themselves to be at least um, like work towards maybe being signed in the future or what? Well, what would you... just just be original and do your own thing. You know, that's mm -hmm. we were talking about Arion before and you said yeah. no one ever did this. Mm -hmm. um, that's the thing, you know, mm -hmm. I, I was 35 at the time. It was 1995. Uh, Mm -hmm. um, and uh, all those years in the bands before, we tried to reach as many people as we could. Mm -hmm. And we tried to be commercial. We tried to do what the record company said. Uh, we tried to be like Judas Priest. And we tried to be like Iron Maiden. But there already was a Judas Priest and there already was an Iron Maiden. So people yeah. were not interested because no. they were better than us. <laughs> yeah. So I thought if I do something like Arion and I... I put in all these different styles, the folk and the metal and then the prog and hard rock and classical mm -hmm. and electronic, you know, at least I will have made something that I like, you know, and I, mm -hmm. if I ever have kids, I can play it to my kids. This is what daddy likes. Yeah. And, and I, I was sure that everyone would hate it. And I was right. because I, uh, I tried, uh, for a year, I tried 50 record companies and they all turned me down. Oh. And they all said, your music is great, and I love mm -hmm. it, and I want it on tape, and I will play it every evening, but yeah. I won't sign you. I won't. Because there's no, there's no market for this, you know? Those were the days of grunge and, and Pearl Jam and Nirvana and stuff like that, and there's no market. Um, but then, you know, uh, uh, a label in, in Japan, uh, JVC, mm -hmm. um, they believed in it, and they released it, and then a small label in Holland... Uh, was interested to release it and suddenly there was an audience you know this invisible audience that no one knew about yeah uh, and it was just it, it's funny you know 35 years you try to be famous and you try to you know to be a star and yeah and it, I did okay but you know I didn't make it like like I could live easily from it you know mm -hmm. and then you do something that you like yourself and suddenly you know <laughs> it works yeah, so that's how good. record companies see it too you know if you if there's the like the next uh, pink floyd or the next uh, let's happen or or whatever then yeah record company will probably say well you're not as good as the original so mm -hmm. why should i yeah why should i sign you and you talked about this before like uh, if you want to make money you should be independent can I get from that that it would be more advisable for smaller musicians to well, not really focus? In the long term. Yeah. In the long term. I never gave a shit about money. I never, mm -hmm. until I was 40, I was a poor guy, <laughs> really. And I didn't give a shit because I didn't spend anything. And it, it wasn't like, it wasn't an issue, you know, as mm -hmm. long as I could eat and I, as long as I had a room to sleep in, it was fine. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I, didn't, I, I didn't have a job either. Mm -hmm. um so so uh i i didn't care um mm -hmm. but yeah if if uh, uh and again there's nothing wrong with doing it yourself and making more money mm -hmm. you know that's great too and there's a, uh, there's a lot of friends of mine who are doing it mm -hmm. um and uh they got this patreon thing you know where fans yeah. uh, pay money for it. and that's great you know you it's better to have like this cult following Mm -hmm. There's really excited color following, even if it's only 100 people or, or 500 or 1,000, you know. If you have this cult following who really likes you, you know, that's so much more important to, than to, to try to make it big. Because that chance is so, so incredibly slim and it's getting slimmer every day. Mm -hmm. uh, and even if you make it big in the mainstream... It'll be a one-hit wonder usually, you know. It, you'll make it big, and you're here today. And as David Ross said, done yeah. later today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, I, I would say uh, it, it, it's there's no rule. It's it's different for for every every person, mm -hmm. and uh, um, you know, if you can do it yourself, and you have the means, and and you have the knowledge, also mm -hmm. the the financial stuff, do it yourself. You know. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, if, if you want to see it long term and you and you want to reach uh, really the whole world, then try to get a record deal, mm -hmm. or maybe try to rec get a record deal anyway, <laughs> and 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 do it yourself, you know, and yeah, that's maybe awesome. one day because because basically Arion, I did it myself, you know, mm -hmm. I, I uh, my father sold the house that I was living in, 
and I put just put all my money in it. Mm -hmm. uh, and and it means that I'm master owner. So it means uh, the record company doesn't own my music. I license it to them for, let's say, seven years. Mm -hmm. And for seven years, they have uh, they can exploit my music. So they can do whatever they want with my music. And I can't, you know, they okay. can for seven years. But yeah, I, I am master owner, which is good, you know, because when the seven years are over, Mm -hmm. uh, you can either say to the record company, okay, let's renew it, you know, and get a new advance or, or uh, let's go to another record company and, uh, you know, reissue the stuff and get a new advance from another record company. Yeah. So that's, that's great. I would advise everyone to, to uh, keep as much uh, in your control. own, yeah. uh, in your own control. Yeah. But then again, if you don't have the money, you know, you can't do it because mm -hmm. you, you know, you at least for that area, you at least need like fifty to hundred thousand uh, gulden, guilders mm -hmm. in those days, yeah. you know, to uh, to do something yeah. like that. And uh, and it's also a risk, of course, you're taking. Yeah, you're taking true. big risk because if you don't get it back, you got nothing. Yeah, you, and yeah. if if the record company does it, it's their risk. Yeah, because you know it's a fable that you have to pay the record company. If they take the risk, and if it doesn't sell, you know. You don't okay. have to pay stuff back or whatever. Okay, because that's a good thing, because that's something that I heard about as well, uh, that record deals are a scam and all that stuff. No, no, no. I, I and they know. also tell you, 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 you uh, I read that even in magazines, and it's such bullshit that you have a record deal for three albums and you're, you you have to release every two years you have to release an album i mean that's yeah. bullshit that's not the way it goes you know okay. you can't force someone to make an album yeah and a record company would never do that because if they don't feel like it or they're not inspired you get a shitty album so <laughs> okay okay oh that's very yeah. interesting it's very good to hear yeah. that it's not like that because yeah I well maybe well. maybe there are record companies who work like that i don't know yeah, but I, I i never had it i never had it no uh, and and i love record companies you know mm -hmm. I, I i love them because they inspire me you know mm -hmm. I, I i i my last uh Arion album i did with uh with Moscow uh, uh in, in in holland mm -hmm. and there's really so many guys who inspire me there and who help me and who call me every day hey so let's do this and let's mm -hmm. put this on youtube and and oh no, it would be better to this and release this as a single. And they've got the whole company thinking with you. Yeah. And it's like a family, you know. And if I have that, I love that family feeling. You know, I, I, I'm very much a recluse, but I call myself a social recluse. So I'm always yeah. on my own yeah. uh, with my girlfriend, of course. And, yeah. I, and I never go anywhere. So yeah. I've been in lockdown for 30 years. So yeah. <laughs> what, vi what virus? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, to be part of a family like like a record company, um, it, it, it's great for me. Really, mm -hmm. I, I like it. I like it. Yeah, and uh, and all those uh, all those stories that that maybe there are record companies, you know, who who s make you sign shitty deals. Uh, yeah, and, and that's of course that's hard. You you have to find someone to help you with that mm -hmm. deal. You know, I, I did too, and luckily I did. You know, because. Uh, you need that, mm -hmm. you know. Record companies, very a uh, record contract is very complicated. Yeah, a lot, lot of shit in it. You don't know what it means, and you're like, oh well, whatever. I got a record deal. Let's yeah. you know. <laughs> There's so many yeah. bands who did that. Yeah, probably. Yeah. And and, and uh, uh, sometimes for the good, uh, mm -hmm. because otherwise they would never have made it. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, yeah, always find find someone to to check it and. And that's shitty, you know, because a good a lawyer uh, or a, a jurist, how would you call that? Yeah. <laughs> a good uh, financial advisor, whatever, yeah, yeah. Uh, will cost you about you know, 80, 80 euros an hour or whatever. That's, mm -hmm. that's the way it is. But it's worth it, you know, because mm -hmm. it's, it's for, it's for uh, sometimes for the rest of your life. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, maybe there, that is where the bad stories come from, that they sign the contract pretty quickly because yeah. the first line said you get a lot of money <laughs> right and it's an artist deal you know which means yeah. that they own everything and mm -hmm. they can get to tell you what 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 they want and mm -hmm. but you know i don't understand those kind of contracts because it has to work two ways you know mm -hmm. you have to be happy with each other if you're not yeah. happy with each other it will never work. No, you know, even if the record company is a bus and you have to do this and the artist doesn't want to do that, you don't get good results. 
No. And and record companies now start realizing that, you know, mm -hmm. they are our friends and, and if we work together, we will get a good result. I heard a lot of people talk about, well, I just start my own record label and then I work for myself, basically. Like you said mm -hmm. before, there's a lot of information that actually goes into that. I, I can imagine that you cannot write a simple contract for yourself or something. No. Uh, when I think of a record label, I think of uh, a company who releases more stuff. You know, If you mm -hmm. just do your own stuff, you don't need a record company. Mm -hmm. you, you need to be a company. I mean, I'm a, a one-man company, a mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, which means that I have a VAT number, uh, so uh, I can get my VAT back and mm -hmm. I can send invoices and stuff like that. That's basically what you need. You don't really need to be a record company or mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah, I think it, it makes things easier, actually. Because like, like we talked about before, there's so much information online. And maybe some of it is true, some of it is not. But I can imagine that for a beginner well, artist... Well, it's also, it's also different in every case, of course. Yeah, as, you know, as well. So some of it is true for one person, but not for yeah. the other. Nowadays, it's not about record sales anymore, because mm -hmm. new bands are not going to sell CDs, you know? Mm -hmm. the, the, they still buy my CDs because they have, you know, I started a long time ago and they have yeah. these CDs in, 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 their, in their cupboards, you know, mm -hmm. and, and they want to have it complete or they're, they're collectors or whatever, you know. But for new yeah. bands, uh, they will just, they will just uh, if you're lucky, they will buy the MP3, but mostly they will just stream you on the, yeah, that's on true. Spotify. Yeah. And you will get, um, uh, and this is not a joke, you will get 0 0.0002 cents per yes. stream, which yes, means you have, to be, you have to be streamed a, a million times a day to get the minimum wages. Yes. <laughs> um, which some bands do, you know, some bands are really yeah, happy yeah. On, uh, on, on Spotify. Yeah. Um, I, I would say uh, find a, a cult audience uh, mm -hmm. and and um, <clears throat> spoil them. You know yeah. that's also what I do. Spoil your audience and uh, with, with good music uh, and uh, answer all the mails, answer all the messages you get. You know, uh, connect with them and learn from them. You know, I, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm I'm very approachable. Everyone can send me a mail. I will answer everyone. Mm -hmm. You won't find one person who wrote me a mail and didn't get an answer, yeah. unless it's like listen to my music. You know, I yeah, no, no. <laughs> I gave that up thirty years ago because when yeah. you do that, I don't like anything. I don't even like new professional bands coming out. You know, yeah. and I I hate to tell people, hey, man, it's awful. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I hate to lie too, so it's yeah, better yeah. not to say anything because you don't want to demotivate people. No. So, so uh, those are the only mails I don't answer. But apart from that, you know, I like people who are honest to me. You know, my mm -hmm. last album, Transitus, wasn't received very well, I mm -hmm. have to say. And, and um, a lot of people just told me, you know, uh, hey, this wasn't good. And it's like, cool, you know. Yeah. Uh, I thank them for their honest opinion. And, mm -hmm. and yeah, be open for it. And, and once you have this cult around you, Mm -hmm. uh, they will be, uh, and you spoil them, and you give them good music, and um, they they will stay true to you, you know. Mm -hmm. And and that if you have that cult and you're really good, the cult will grow. Uh, and and um, I think that's that's very very uh, very it's worthwhile, you know. It's yeah. it's, it's better than to, to to just try to make that one big hit uh, mm -hmm. or be on TV or be on the radio or whatever, you know. You can build a community that is really strong. And sometimes it's better to have like a thousand true fans than have a million followers that don't even listen to your music. It's true. So, yeah. It's true, because those fans will buy your merchandise. You know? Exactly, they will, yeah. They will want your, your T-shirt, you know. Exactly, and, and they yeah. Want to, they want to support you. And, yeah. And... And that's just great, you know, and that's also for the artist. That's the greatest feeling if you have mm -hmm. an audience like that who are so into your music. And, I can imagine. And yeah. who, whose lives you are changing, you know, uh, that's that's the best there is. So, yeah, I, I, I don't really know about this Patreon. I don't know exactly what it is, but I know mm -hmm. friends of mine are doing it. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I think it's it's a it's a good thing, you know. It's it's yeah. people can they probably won't buy your CDs anymore because why would you 
for a lot but, of people. Why would you buy CDs? It just takes yeah. up space, you know. But but vinyl, it could be like a one-off thing. Like it's it's an album that that has done really well, and then you choose to make it vinyl just as a limited edition. Um, I can imagine that you wouldn't make any money out of that, but it would be a great fan service to build an even stronger community. So at least, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. And, and if if I do a reissue reissue of vinyl, uh, again, you know, it's already done before. I don't want to just give them the same. You know, I want to. Yeah. All, I'm always looking for something extra. You know, mm -hmm. let's put a three CD in there. You know, yeah. or let's put a five point one mix in there, or yeah, or maybe you can find some songs that they haven't heard, or or uh, yeah, just make it special. Just give them a reason. You know, to to mm -hmm. uh, not just because there's there are bands doing that just milking the fans you know just releasing the same album many times and, and yeah. don't change any or, or change the name of the album or change the photo or yeah you know the that, issue, and, 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 the, issue. And, yeah and the fans buy it because they are fans you know yes. they want to have everything but inside yeah. i'm sure they feel like oh crap they're gonna buy that again and yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's actually Forcing a fan that has the need to to have kind of yeah action. kind of yeah yeah and you can do that you can do that once twice three times and then it's over yeah you know and, and they won't do it anymore and they'll no. they'll forget about you it's, it's like yeah. same as as releasing a bad album mm -hmm. you know in my in my past past I was fan huge fan of bands you know and suddenly they released a bad album and you bought it of course yeah without hearing it because you had faith and it was bad and. And then you give them one more chance for the mm -hmm. next album, you know. And yes. if that's not good either, then <laughs> you yeah. just give up. Because there were, there were even I, I, I remember I had friends in the in the past, and and they had a shitty record company, and 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 you know they they had a a deal for one more album, and they were just ah, I'm just gonna put together this shitty album with all old, old shit that I have, oh. you know, and release it, and then I'm free, and I'm gonna go to another record company. And they do that, but in the process, they lost their friends, you know, yes. and, and no one is interested anymore. That, that's, that's not, not the them. way. No, no, that's not the <laughs> Did way. Did not help them. That, that's like the worst thing that you could do as a musician. And you also talked about the kind of the best thing that you can do is like be uh, a great and have a great interaction with your fans and yeah. be, be approachable. And how do you see the social media world these days being any part of that? Um, like you already well, talked about Patreon, for example. It's it's brilliant, of course. It, it's a great way uh, for talent, you know, to get get people to know you. And and uh, I'm sure, uh, in a way, it's it's more democratic, you know, because with record companies. Uh, people reckon I put a lot of money in the band, the band, band got a lot of promotion, got famous. But nowadays, you know, you have to be better than the rest. So you put everything on YouTube. And I think that the really good stuff will be noticed. You know, mm -hmm. I think it will be very rare that there's really good stuff out there that no one notices. You know, uh, I, I keep track of it all the time, YouTube, you know, and is there new stuff? And if I see something I like, it's like, whoa, you know, and you want to support it. And yeah. uh, so good stuff will will get there in the end. That's true. That's true. Uh, uh, unless they make the mistakes that we, t we talked about earlier. Yeah. <laughs> we already talked a little bit about that, like how, how you would start as a musician. And obviously that's also different for everyone. Um, it, it is. It's also what kind of music do you make, you know? Yeah. I mean, if you make prog music or if you make metal music, mm -hmm. you have a target audience mm -hmm. that you want to reach, you know? But if you, yeah, make music like, like, uh, yeah, I can't say which kind of music, but you, that you, you have no target audience. It's going yeah. to be much harder for you, you know? Yeah, it is. Sure, if you have a steady job, which... But most musicians probably have right now, because who can still live from the music, you know? Exactly. Why not? Why not do whatever you want? You know? Yeah, sure, <laughs> Just sure. Do that, and and if you get attention, that's good. And uh, yeah, I think for that, YouTube can be a great place because you can get, of course, yeah, you can get recognized or found if you do something special or something weird, uh, weirdly yeah. funny, and then you can have your <laughs> <laughs> your fun on there. Absolutely. I think that kind of wraps up the whole thing, especially about uh, the record label. 
uh, information. I think that's really valuable. I also hope it's valuable for everyone watching this video. Um, and if you want to go forward in music and if you want to make it big, then you kind of know in what, in, in what area you should think and should focus on. Um, yeah, it's not such a cliche, but, but I mean, do what you, what you like. Exactly. Uh, it's such a cliche the way it sounds, but I, it, it took me 35 years to do that, you know, because I've always did concessions to band members and concessions to record company and to people. And the moment, the thing is, the moment you start doing what you like, mm -hmm. you will produce better material, mm -hmm. you know, because in the bands there was like, okay, this singer likes ACDC. And, and so I was writing music like ACDC, but I, I don't like ACDC. It's yeah. not my thing, you know, I can no. do it, but my heart in it is not in it. So it's like a bad ACDC copy. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> uh, but but when I started Arion, it was like, hey, what do I like? Beatles, Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, uh, Rainbow, Deep Purple, you know, that's the stuff. Uh, that's yeah that that's i'm gonna put that all together and, mm -hmm. and see what comes out and and uh, and not not copy it mm -hmm. um, exactly luckily i'm a very bad copier i try to copy but it comes out different and that's, that's good, actually a good know? thing is actually good yeah, yeah that's a... I, i'm actually not a not a great musician i think great musicians have a hard time you know because they <laughs> probably inspired by Ingrid Monsi and they start playing and they're just as good as him, but there's already an Ingrid Monsi. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I tried playing like Blackmore, but I couldn't. So something different came out and apparently people, people, people like it. liked it. <laughs> yeah, apparently they did. Yeah. 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 Well, it's very good. And it's, and it's, it's perseverance also. Yeah. Perseverance. Uh, for me, it's a, it's a lot of perseverance because I already told you I'm I'm not more talented than other people, and I, there's always been people around me who were better than me, and I know I'm not being humble. That mm -hmm. it is a fact, you know. Mm -hmm. But I persevered, you know. I just kept going and kept going and kept going my own way, yeah. and um, uh, eventually I got there, <laughs> and it took yeah. a long time, but it it doesn't matter because it was a great road up to that point you know the journey was and great it's, yeah. and it's great to to make it at some point mm -hmm. but the road there was great too you mm -hmm. know if if you follow your heart so uh, sometimes i get mails i have a good job you know i'm a professor whatever this and that but i love music too you think i should give up my job um <laughs> no <laughs> no no because you're thinking about it yeah, you know, don't do it. Yeah. I had no choice. You know, I, I didn't want any other job, and I didn't mm -hmm. need to earn money. It was not a choice. Yeah, the moment you you think about that, it's just keep your job. You know, and 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 just make your music as a hobby. Yeah, on exactly. the side, and well, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, no, no, that's very valuable. I think that's that's yeah. probably like the main uh, takeaway from this video in general for all musicians from all, all over the world to to just be yourself and create music that you like and that you are connected with, and just True. go from there and see what what kind of what the journey where the journey takes you. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe but if you copy, do a bad job. That's all yeah. <laughs> you always make better music if you were a bad copier. Yeah. I, I look at the Beatles. You know, they they lived in Liverpool, and and mm -hmm. and uh, all these ships came in with American music with Chuck yeah. Berry and and yeah. and uh, all this rock and roll. You know, for, from America, and that's what they tried to do, but it came out all wrong. <laughs> you know, it came out like I want to hold your hand. Yeah. You know, uh, I love you. Yeah. 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 That's how it came out. And people were like, hey, this is new. And the people were probably good. like, huh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's weird how this We wanted to be like Elvis Presley, but we couldn't. So yeah. this came out. <laughs> yeah. Well, they were mildly, mildly successful with that. <laughs> mildly, yeah. Mildly, yeah. yeah. I think so. <laughs> yeah, they had some. Yeah. But yeah, that's absolutely true. Be yourself. And sometimes that can even be better than being mainstream and... Really yeah, happen. and 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 the moment you decide that, you will see you will suddenly get success. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, like like I did. Exactly, exactly. Well, I want to end the interview with this great message, sure. actually. So, um, thank you so much, Aryan.
Um, You're welcome, Maurice. I is hope there, it helped. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Is there any place that you would like uh, the viewers to go to after watching this video? Uh, uh, no, they should do whatever they want. <laughs> Just watch That's, a good movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good as well. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And as always, keep making awesome music. And I'll do my best. I'm working on a new Star One album and it's going really well. I have a very good feeling about this one. So uh, that's great. That's all great. is all is good. Yeah, that's <laughs> great. That's great. I'll put the links in the description for those who want to uh, uh, listen to that and I want to follow you so they can get updated on the new album when it comes out. Cool. Aryan, thank you so much. And You're very welcome. Yes, <laughs> my pleasure. <laughs>